to my channel. I've just arrived in Leicester and I'm super excited. I'm going to the National Space Centre. I've never been to Leicester before and I can't We're just having a bite to eat and then we'll be on. I've got a plain chicken burger. I've got garlic bread, corn on the cob, and then also some chips. That was so yummy, guys. Here we are at the National Space Centre. I'm pretty sure that's the rocket ship. It looks really cool and it looks like there's a lift that you can go up. Sorry guys if my voice sounds a bit weird, I've literally just got back from residential, screaming my head off, so sorry about my voice. So let's go and see what this is all about. We've just walked in and we spotted these cool spaces. That one's for landing, that one's for work, and then there's like a lot That's the living in space. It's called the Sun Walk File Devil Rock. Let's go in here. 
Take a seat, comrade. Five, four, three, two, one. They say history is written by the victors. Guess who? It's Neil Armstrong. He landed on the moon. Guys, right, this is the telephone from 1960s. It is. Wow, an actual piece of the moon. I've just been to the planetarium show and oh my goodness it was so good and if you haven't seen it before it's basically like a massive cinema but with the whole screen all around you after seeing the Apollo spaceship land on the moon I would love to explore space imagine having the opportunity to do that so the best way is to do that by becoming engineers the thing I love about space is the unknown and Mars is one of them could you imagine living and landing on Mars? That would be amazing. Guys, I'm gonna practice getting into the costume because I'm gonna get into it in 60 seconds. Well, at least try. I've had the practice and now it's time to put it on in 60 seconds. Let's see how this goes. fun trying this on and thank you to everyone at the space center for letting <laughs> for letting me try this on i'm back from the national space center and i'm in the hotel right now and i'm going to show you some of the cool gifts i got from the gift shop so the first thing i got is this like stress toy and it's of a astronaut and i think it's super cute and i just love to have this in my bedroom as a little reminder then I also got this rock, and it's pink and it looks really cool, it's got like crystals in it. It's called a geode. It is so pretty and I'm so happy I got it. The next thing that I got is really squidgy and it has an astronaut, two planes, a moon, a star and a sun in it. And, it. and it's also got the earth. And then the last thing that I've got, which I'm going to try at the end of the video, is this astronaut vanilla ice cream sandwich and I'm super excited to try this. I found it in the shops and I'm so excited. I can see a rabbit outside. It's by that box right there. There you can see it. Ah, it's running away. <laughs> it's so cute. Seeing that rabbit actually takes me on really nicely to the competition part of this video. What they want you to design is something that you could not live without on Mars. I was thinking about what I would have to take with me on Mars is my two sausage dogs. So basically, they're going to have like a backpack on them and as soon as you press a button, like a rocket's going to come out so they can fly wherever they need to be. And then also, it, if you press another button, like a like a head mass is going to come down so they can breathe. So you don't have oxygen on Mars, so you definitely will need that. And also, you'll press another button and a little bowl will come out with some food and water in it. Have a look into living on Mars and trying to think of a product that you could take with you. 
This is the super cool part of this competition. If your product wins, the IET are planning on sending your product to outer space. How cool would it be if your product gets sent to space? Oh, and hang on, that's not it. And if you win, they will actually put a character of you in the Beano magazine. I would quite like that part. And make sure you check out the link in the description for the competition. Right, time to eat this vanilla ice cream sandwich. This is freeze, freeze dried. I think that's how you say it. But I'm going to try it because I've seen lots of people try these before and I really want to. Ooh. And apparently this is what like real astronauts eat, so. It looks like a massive bourbon biscuit and in the middle the ice cream feels like chalk. I'm going to take this little bit here and honestly guys, I'm actually really scared. It smells a bit weird actually. Okay, let's try it. I'm scared for the texture. That's actually really good. The texture is very weird. Mm. The texture is weird, but I actually like it. It it tastes a bit different to obviously regular ice cream. So I might have to try out some other space food in another video because I did see like peaches, apples, strawberries, blueberries, and all that kind kind of cool stuff. Thank you to the IET for sponsoring today's video. I've had such a fun day.